I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to worry me a little bit. And some of them were kind of intense. Speaking of temper tantrums, I think we are hitting the terrible twos a little bit early. I'll tell you what, this pregnancy is giving me a run for my money, I'll tell you that. I feel like every time I do a pregnancy update video, a few days later, I end up like feeling completely different. I need those of you who have had kids before, specifically those who have had more than one kid. I have had so many Braxton Hicks over the past three days. I know in my update video, I talked about how I was having them every once in a while. I would have like maybe one or two a week. Well, it has changed. With Cole, I feel like I maybe had like a handful the whole time. So this is really different for me. I had Braxton Hicks on and off from like 3 p.m. on Saturday up until like 9.30. And no, they weren't consistent. They weren't super painful or anything. So I wasn't like really concerned about it. They were just really uncomfortable. And some of them were kind of intense, like made me stop for a second. But we got home Saturday. Yesterday, which was Sunday, I was fine. I maybe only had like one or two all day. And then today, Monday, back to work, I had like three different spells where I had like three or four like back to back. <sighs> The first one I had this morning, I thought it was because I hadn't drank enough water. So I drank my water. Then I had another set. And then I had another set during a meeting. I'm not going to lie. It's starting to worry me a little bit. And I guess I just want to ask you guys, should I be worried? Because I asked my doctor about it because I'd started having them. And like I said, I didn't really get them with Cole. But she said as long as they're not really consistent or painful, then I'm probably okay. But it just seems like a lot. So I just need somebody to tell me in the comments if during your pregnancy, if you had a lot of Braxton Hicks and were fine. I'm just worried because I'm only 32 weeks. And yes, I know this baby's probably big. We have a gross scan on Thursday, which I'm vlogging. That'll go up on a week from today. But I just, I don't want him to be born this early because they haven't developed all their stuff. Like, yes, I feel like he's gonna be big. And so I would prefer to him if he is big to be born at like 37, 38 weeks. So I'm not like pushing out a nine pound baby again, but he, he can't come this early. This is like way too early. So I'm like starting to get a little nervous that at any moment these Braxton Hicks can turn into the real deal. And it is way too early for that. Uh, just tell me the truth in the comments. Okay. If the truth is a lot of Braxton Hicks, can lead to labor, tell me that. If the truth is that it's totally normal, please tell me that. Like, don't sugarcoat it. I just need to know <laughs> to just have an answer. So I just got home from work and I am reclined back in the recliner, hoping that'll help resting a little bit before I have to go get coal. And hopefully I won't have any more sets of Braxton Hicks today. That would be nice. I should be vacuuming the floor right now because Cole decided it would be fun to throw his cereal all in the floor last night. But I feel like if I get up and start doing stuff, I'm gonna have another set of rack snakes. So I'm just chilling. I'm gonna try to not look at all the things I could be cleaning or putting away, which is hard with nesting and just relax and calm down. The confusing thing is I know Braxton Hicks can happen if you do too much or if you're not drinking enough water, but today I've already drank like 50, 60 ounces of water and it's not even quite three yet. And I haven't really been doing any like physical things today. I've just been sitting at my desk a lot, so I don't really know. So I'm really worried if I get up and like start doing stuff, they're gonna come back. So I'm just gonna force myself to chill here until I go get cold. I had a little helper cooking dinner. I'm trying to move away from Trolls because he has it extremely loud. But dinner's in the oven. Picked up coal. Have not had any more racks and hicks. And once he got home, I did do a few things because I was driving myself crazy. I installed the locks on the doors because um, Cole can officially reach the doors. He hasn't quite figured out how to open them, but I know it's coming soon. So I'm trying to be proactive 
and fix that. Let me turn trolls down. Okay. What? It's the same thing you had. Speaking of temper tantrums, I think we are hitting the terrible twos a little bit early. From what I've heard, the uh, terrible twos is a lot of whining when they don't get their way. Um, and that is what we are experiencing right now. It's a lot. That's actually what we had to leave Saturday night. We had my baby shower Saturday and we had planned on staying at my sister's house and having a little sleepover at her house. And Cole did great all day long. He did great at the shower. He did great when we went and saw my niece play her basketball game. He did good after the basketball game. And uh, um, the only thing is he didn't take a nap. Normally when he does that, as long as he has something going on, he isn't that ill. Normally he'll just crash. When he gets tired and is ready to go to bed, he'll just crash without a nap. That was not the case Saturday. Saturday he literally was fine until like 8.30, 8.15. And I think he just was so overtired because we had done a lot that day. He had been on the go since like 9.30 that morning, 10 o'clock that morning. And he cried. For like an hour straight he wouldn't lay with adam wouldn't lay with me wouldn't take a pacifier wouldn't go to anybody else and he was just fussy and we tried everything but eventually i was like adam i don't really want to drive back to our house because we were like an hour and a half ish away but we we're just gonna have to because he's not gonna go to sleep here because adam suggested just taking him down the road and seeing if he'll go to sleep but i was like well, that's no, there's no guarantee there that he is going to stay asleep once you get him back to the house. And I didn't want to start the whole cycle over again of him being fussy. So we just decided to cut our losses and go back all the way home. Even though we were upset because we were planning on just hanging out on Sunday, having like a chill day with family. It didn't get to happen. But he just threw a fit and yesterday he was a little better uh, and he's always a happy kid. Normally nothing really bothers him but here lately if he does not get his way it's a fit. Like he throws a full fit like fall out on the floor type fit. He did that yesterday because we let him have some chips for snack and then we cut him off after a while because he does not need to eat like a whole big bag of chips. I mean he's two and he threw a fit because he didn't want to give up the chips there's been some other circumstances where he just he just now it's like a light switch like he goes from happy to throw a fit and me and adam are working really hard at staying calm and not giving in that's the biggest thing because it's super easy to just be like oh you can just have a few more chips just so they'll stop crying but we uh can't do that we're trying to be strong because as soon as we give in as soon as we give in, then he'll know. Yeah, won't you? You'll know, and then you'll just cry anytime you want anything and think you're gonna get it. It's definitely a balancing act, but we're gonna figure it out, huh? Terrible twos are just hitting you a few months early because he's not two until April. Well, we got like 13 minutes left till supper, so let's go. Let's go chill. I'm sure you're getting a little hangry too, and. When, then dad will be here and we'll eat, okay? He's also going through a phase. I think he knows that I'm having a baby, or at least I don't think he knows that, but I think he knows that things are about to change because he's been really clingy as well. That may come with the terrible twos, but he's been really clingy specifically to me lately. So we're gonna go snuggle. Well, that was an interesting 45 minutes, wasn't it? Uh, yes. <laughs> Long story short, Cole threw a fit the whole time, pretty much. <laughs> he didn't want anything we offered for dinner and we're not about to give him crap just because he throws a fit. We offered him hot dog, which he loves, and fruit. And he didn't want either one, so he threw a fit the whole time. So then we took him in, he got in the bath. He was fine for most of the bath. Threw a fit getting out of the bath. Threw a fit because we came downstairs and didn't go in the bonus room, but the bonus room is really cold because it's above the garage. And it was, I was almost bedtime anyways. And so he ended up going to bed at 6.30 <laughs> instead of 6.45 because he, he was beyond repair at that point. We're decompressing <laughs> from that event this, after, this evening. And we're going to watch Jeopardy and go to bed. We'll see you in the next video. 
Bye.